Hey everyone. So, this is a review of the super build that I have created. What you can see is again the same header as before with all the other sheets, your company logo and name at the top with phone number and your logo in the middle. Again, you can change uh, who is doing the treatment and who is doing the billing. So, if the owner is the PT and he's doing the billing, say we did the evaluation, right? You can come here. Eval is from, uh, selected. You can check your modifier. So if you know any of the modifiers, you can do that as well. Say we have quantity as one unit, and we're going to charge $200 for the amount. This little box above here is for your prompt pay adjustment. So say that um, you know if you did $150 for the prompt pay adjustment, it would automatically calculate that for you. So if you come here. And you say, hey, we did two therapeutic exercises, and we're charging $75 per pop. You can see that it evenly distributes that adjustment, and it makes it so that this, again, is still $150. We can do more, right? If we did manual therapy as well, let's say you charge $50 bucks for that, right? You can see, again, all of this is adjusted evenly. So that it equals the $150. If you wanted to make it $200, you can see now it's equal to $200. So the other thing that we can do here is that if we changed it from a PT to a PTA, right, you can see that the state license now is updated. And down here, these two things appear. Now you can click that the PT was the co-signing physical therapist of the note and his NPI or her NPI will be populated underneath it as well. This then says for the insurance companies, hey, send this to the patient above. So this is for patients who are submitting uh, a super bill to their insurances. You can use my menu again to come up here and click save current sheet as PDF. Right, And if we go into my drive, you can see that the super bill is here and it was made just now. To prove that that actually worked, again, you can do remove, move to trash, and then come back to the bill, right? Click save current sheet as PDF. And what it does is it takes it all away, saves this one sheet as a PDF. You have all these little pop-up windows that come and tell you that it's done. Then you go back to your drive and you can see it was made with the patient's name, what the sheet is called, and the time and date that it was saved. So it's all pretty functional, um, makes it super easy so that you don't have to download um, and redo everything. But uh, let me know what you think. The one problem I do have with the PDFs is that when you do save, it saves the notes at the very bottom on the second to last page. So if you are going to send this to anybody, you can um, you know, either print it out and give them just the one page, or you can uh, resave it as just being one page. The other option is to get rid of the notes. The two notes that I have on this page are for where the box is for the prompt pay adjustment so that you can adjust the pay. If you get rid of the note, you will still see the arrow to adjust the prompt pay adjustments. And then the other one that I have here is for locking out the boxes for the headers, so that way you don't mess up the headers as well. If you feel confident in knowing where those are, you can get rid of them. Those are just helpful for when you're first getting started using the system. Great. Well, that's the quick review. Let me know what you think.